<laughs> Hello, everyone. How you guys doing? <laughs> My name is Laguerre, not Laguerre. <laughs> he, sp he spiced it up a little bit. That's good. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, man, oh, I don't. It's my birthday today. This, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? Do me? Okay, oh. Okay. You're a very white woman. Uh, yes, uh, I was not expecting, I was expecting to see an uh, uh, ethnic. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine, it's, I love it. We're gonna be best friends this evening, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, I turned 34 today, that's... Uh, I wish I could talk to all my hood friends like I made it. <laughs> nah, my girlfriend, uh, she sent me uh, edible arrangements um, earlier today. And, uh, it said, happy birthday, P.S., you're pushing 40. That's <laughs> All right, all right, cool. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's not my actual joke, so it's okay. I'm gonna tell her she bombed. Uh, this <laughs> Like Nestor said, my name is Gerby. Uh, that is not a stage name. That is my porn name. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I, I have a love and hate relationship with my, my name growing up. You know, it was really bad. I got made fun of a lot. But the real big problem I had growing up is because I didn't know what it meant. So I asked my mom. I was like, what the hell does my name even mean? And she says, I don't know. I lost a bet. <laughs> I was like, what? She was like, well, I always wanted a girl. And I was like, okay, that explains all the dresses. Uh, no, uh, she, uh, my aunt, you know, when I was born a boy, I uh, decided to name me Gerby. And uh, the thing about Gerby is, I got all types of different names for that growing up. I was called Herbie, Kirby, and one time a kid called me Garbage. <laughs> He was accurate. I didn't like taking showers at the time, so. <laughs> cool. Um, I grew up Catholic. Uh, I used to, we grew, grew up very religious, actually. Uh, I'm not religious anymore. I used to be very. Uh, I wanted 22 children. Yeah. 11 on defense, 11 on offense. <laughs> Whoever wins gets pancakes. Uh, I'm a simple man. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, everybody gets pancakes. It's just the losers get smaller pancakes. That was like, uh, that was the. I don't know. Now I don't want. I don't want 22, 22 anymore. I want just two um, children now because I saw how my parents struggled with me. You know, I was a very hard kid growing up, and I think about my father all the time, like how he was always looking to pick up extra shifts to provide for his second family. Uh, I love that joke. Uh, uh, no, my father had 26 children. 26 children, yeah. 13 on defense, 13 on offense. Uh, we look very confused out there. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a lot about my father. I know he was fucking, uh, for sure, but uh, <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like, to be honest. Uh, when I was nine, my mom told me, if you want to know what your father looks like, just look in the mirror. And I was like, wait, you had sex with dad when he was nine? <laughs> she slapped the shit out of me. I grew up as an only child. Thank you for laughing at extra laughs. Uh, I grew up as an only child despite 25 siblings. Uh, I don't know, like all of them are in Haiti. All the rest of my brothers and sisters are in Haiti, uh, actually. I don't know how I was chosen to come to America. But uh, I like to imagine that they gathered all of us up in one room and put the sorting hat on each and every one of us. And that was the only Hufflepuff. <laughs> fans. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I don't know, man. I mean, you can't, like, you can't choose your family, right? They say you can't choose your family. Uh, but, uh, I love mine, kind of. Kind of. It only
only it's based on how much information they know about me at the time. Like, for example, I wet the bed till I was about 12 years old. Now, that's fine and not a crime, but my mom, the snitch, went to tell everybody uh, about it. Every moment she had. Uh, so Thanksgiving was hell that year. And every time I went to go grab something to drink, my uncles would be in the corner be like, Gerby, be careful. <laughs> yeah, he liked to roast. Like to roast. He was like, oh, Morpheus over here doesn't know the difference between dreams and reality. <laughs> But this is the thing, though. It's true. That's when I would pee the bed is when I dream. It was true. I don't know. You're dreaming, and then all of a sudden I had to pee, and I look to my right, and then there's just a river just right there for me to relieve myself. And uh, thank you for laughing, Jim. Uh, <laughs> no, but, uh, and then next thing you know, I, I pee, and then a warm sensation starts traveling down my leg. And I realized this river is a bed. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna be killed. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's difficult, I guess. I don't know. I'll tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, I grew up as a gamer. Any gamers in the room? Okay. Anyone else? That hates other <laughs> hates that the fact that they have a gamer living with them. Anybody? Woo! Anybody? <laughs> this is the thing, though, right? I had to stop gaming. Number one, I got called the N word way too often. Uh, <laughs> it was just too much of a problem. The second reason I had to stop gaming, I made a kid cry, and I loved it. <laughs> I, I, I fucking loved it. Telling the kid his mom tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios is the greatest thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, uh, it became a problem. My mom was like, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get a job. And I was like, yeah, I gotta get one if I wanna leave. She's right. <laughs> this is the thing, I had all types of jobs. I had good jobs, I had bad jobs, but the worst job I ever had is that I was selling life insurance. And I lost a couple of friends doing that. Not because of sales, it's just a strategy. If you call somebody a hundred times in an hour, that friendship is over. You know? <laughs> I don't care about your entrepreneurship. Uh, I don't know, honestly, I was really bad at it. That was really the truth. Like, you know you're bad at your job when your mom blocks you. It's like, not on Christmas. No one laughs at the Christmas party. Uh, stop doing that. <laughs> now, it was so bad, I ended up suing the company. I did, I did sue the company. We won, we won. And then so in celebration, uh, I bought a new car with that money. And uh, my car is named Class Action Lawsuit. So if anybody wanna meet Classy after the show, let me know. <laughs> that was not worth it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I have one more joke and I'm gonna get the hell out of here, all right, guys? All right, cool. You guys enjoy the show? Woo! Um, I don't know. Life is life is crazy. I, I I think like the world is a little dark, but I do see like a like a light at the end of the tunnel. Like just recently, the FDA just approved the Neuralink. If you don't know what that is, Elon Musk wants to put an implant in your brain so that way we could communicate with technology just as fast as AI. And I love that, because that means we're one step closer to Google Gadget Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Which I believe would eventually end penis envy. And then racism. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and uh, that's my set. Thank you very much, guys. Uh,